Hi guys, this is Herman again with just another my review and this time I'm doing something different. This time I'm doing a review of my own, my own job. I'm installing a, a vinyl plank flooring in my house and the reason why I'm doing this is well basically because I have to do a job in my, 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 my house because the floor is so bad but the main main reason is because people downstairs are living in a two-family house, people downstairs is complaining about the noise that is caused by my kids when they walk or run or something falls down. Problem is between the two floors is a space like this. It's a box in each, every 12 uh, inches is a box and that box is creating an, amplifi uh, an amplified sound. And the problem is people is hearing that noise every single day but amplified in his backboard. Now I got some advices, I was looking for the best option to try to minimize the noise. It's basically uh, hard to get rid of it. Uh, you can do it but it's gonna be real expensive and I get one of the best ways to do it thanks to a, a couple of guys that finish some advices. Between those guys is my friend Norbe. He got a company right here in Elizabeth and he do jobs in New York. He's a professional designer and he's doing really uh, good works in construction and noise cancellation. The other person that helped me out too, it was the place I was looking to buy my stuff, is uh, this company, Aldo Design Group. They are located in Carteret, New Jersey. They give me a good advice as how to do and the materials I need. My friend Norbe had told me what exactly what I need and I was looking for some kind of insulation between the two floors, but looking with this professional, they advised me that it's better to change the floor with a mat, on basically an underlayment, uh, but not the regular underlayment, a real good underlayment, real expensive. Uh, that's the one I'm gonna show you right now. This is the Echo Silence. This is uh, one, of the one of the rolls, is real, real heavy. This is about uh, almost uh, 175, 200 pounds. And uh, this rubber is basically made for, uh, it's a recycle, recycle material. And uh, this is the one I gotta put in the whole entire house. And on top of this, I'm gonna put the uh, uh, vinyl plank. Uh, I have to glue it. And also I'm using uh, this uh, floor that it was recommended by my friend uh, Aldo in Aldo Design Group. This is the quick style uh, uh, flooring. This is basically the one I'm using for the kitchen. It's a, a tile style. And this one on my uh, on my right, this is the one I'm using. This is a floor style, like a wood style. Now, both of these, they are a 20 mil. What is the mil? The mil is basically, to speak in a language <laughs> you can understand, like me, because I'm not a professional either, but as, my, as I did my research, 20 mil is kind of commercial. This is a commercial grade. Uh, it's the warranty in this product is 15 year warranty for commercial grade and lifetime for residential. Now, what I buy in this is because I need something good, uh, uh, proof uh, that I it can hold my kids and my dog and everything and be standing for the many years to come. This is uh, this kind of uh, uh, floor can be used in hospitals, can be used in restaurants and places like that. Now, depending the meal you got, more bigger the meal is the more high quality, more warranty and is stronger. If you're gonna 12 mil, that is the one recommended for most houses is less warranty because basically the layer on top of the uh, uh, this uh, a layer that it's protecting basically the finish of the floor is a little bit uh, uh, lower than the one I got. I got 20 mil. That layer it gives you more protection for the floor. Now it's another one. It's a 28 mil that is more heavy commercial grade and it's a 40 mil. 40 mil you can use a fork if you do, if you got a, a place like that. It's for heavy, heavy duty uh, uh, commercial grade. Now guys, I'm using this kind of uh, glue too, as it was recommended by my friend. I'm using the dry pack uh, 6200 and also 
in order, as soon as I finish this, I'm gonna show you guys why I'm using this instead of the insulation. Uh, this is uh, this is the uh, rubber I got right here, and I'm gonna show you right now. But let's simulate the noise right here. You guys can hear that? Now look at when I hit the mat. Now, if you guys notice, right here, when I hit it right here, it's a big, big difference comparison with this one. Now, if I compare this, if I just put just the vinyl on top of my wood uh, floor, nothing is gonna happen. It's gonna be the same noise. Nothing is gonna uh, stop the noise going downstairs. But, as soon as I put this on top of the echo silence, you hear the noise right here, but as soon as the noise go through this to this uh, floor, it's gonna stop right here. And it means it's gonna be it's gonna be less noise transmission from the uh, rubber to the floor. Now you guys see the difference. You can hear the noise right here, but the most important thing is you don't hear it right here. This is sound, it's a special made from recycled materials from a prestigious companies uh, in, in, in the US. And this is recycled material, completely recycled. Um, exactly, I don't know what is the material, but I hear it's made from uh, 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 some kind of a rubber uh, that they recycle. I don't, I don't remember if it's from tires or something like that, but it's, 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 it's a good, good material and, you know, it's, it's protecting and it's already engineered, professionally made in laboratories, tested, and this is the 5 mil thick. You can get it in 10 mil and it's more uh, 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 bigger grades and lower grades. Uh, this is the one my friend recommend, my friend Orbey from the... Uh, uh, the uh, company in New York, he recommended this one using the, the same way I'm telling you right now, putting this uh, uh, echo silence, putting the planks over here. And also, um, as soon as I got this one, let me show you uh, what else I'm doing right now. As soon as we put this over here, as soon as we start it right here, uh, my rubber is gonna get right there, basically touching the border we gonna use this as uh, silicone this is um this is a, a soundproof silicone let me show you another bottle uh maybe you guys can get it too this is the green blue um i hear from a lot of guys in different videos that this is one of the best uh silicones or this is not the best in uh stopping the noise going through the walls and basically uh, around the corners. This one, we're gonna put it right here in order to stop. You guys can see these little holes right here. Well, if, you, if I put my hands right here, I can feel the cold air coming through. Now, believe it or not, uh, the other day, me and my wife were watching TV. As soon as I removed this border right here, you guys can see right here, let me show you as an example right here. You guys see all this, these little pieces of wood? Well, this is basically uh, the borders right here. Uh, we remove it and we hold it right here with tape. That way, it's not gonna get lost and we're not gonna have a different sizes and then we start guessing what, is, what it belongs. We put it right here with tape to hold it. And uh, as soon as we remove this, we have the ability to hear the everything, to hear all the noise downstairs. We can hear the people talking, my, uh, uh, my, my, my tenants uh, talking, the TV, it was crazy. It means by these uh, little, um, uh, these little gaps right here, it's like a little speaker, just like a, imagine, a, uh, just image, a, a big, big speaker, 
uh, the sound is coming through here. And that's the thing we're gonna do with the uh, green glue. We're gonna put it all, all around here with the green glue. We're gonna cover this first right here and then we're gonna put the green glue right there. And on top of that, um, we're gonna use, I'm gonna show you guys a lot of things. You guys can take some money if you want to. We're gonna leave basically a quarter inch is this one. You can get this one in Home Depot. Also, if you get, you know, the paint, uh, the paint sticks from Home Depot, the big ones, you guys can cut it with a saw and you're gonna save in order to buy this. You say, well, I'm not, I'm not gonna need this. It's gonna be one time, that's it. Well, you can buy this one and you can cut it on multiple pieces. That's what I did because I just buy one bag of it, but I need more. And as you guys can see, basically it's the same size. It's real close, just probably a little bit uh, bigger than the, 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 uh, um, this one, the spacer. But the thing we do, we put all the way that and we put the spacer right here. It could be one of each other. Let me show you right here. This is the, uh, the division I got right here. Uh, let me show you right here, you guys can see it. And you guys see, it's gonna stay right there. That's the gap you gotta leave with you installing these planks. And as you guys can see, that's the way it is uh, so far. Uh, that's the only thing we're gonna do right now. I'm gonna show you guys little by little how is the progress and how it's gonna be the finished job. I'm not gonna go in details how to cut it. I'm gonna show you probably later on, later on how to do the door jumps. But being honest with you, it's a lot of good, good videos of that. I just trying to show you guys a little bit or something I didn't see yet in YouTube. That is basically the rubber, the echo silence using this kind of floor. And uh, we're gonna see what is the finish in this quick style floor. I think it's, uh, it's a good brand recommended by my friend Aldo uh, in uh, Aldo Design Group. And we're gonna work. All right, see you guys in a few seconds. Let's go start. is we're gonna do something new. You know, when we got uh, to put kind of a, for example, when we use to put the uh, 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 screen protector to the phones, yes. what we do? Okay, that's one tip we're gonna start doing now. This is new in YouTube. I'm gonna try it for the first time. I don't know if somebody is doing it. I'm sorry if you're doing it but this is my first time. We're gonna clean the floor before we treat it with the dry tack with alcohol. That way it's gonna be more sticky. In my case, I cannot sand the floor. It's impossible for me to sand it out because I'm living basically with my whole kids right here and it's winter and you know, I got a nice heat in my house, but I cannot sand it out. But another suggestion I got is you can use alcohol in order to make the glue bonded real good against the, uh, against the floor and you know, then you can install the roll of rubber and also you gotta use one of these guys, a hundred pounds roll, you can you guys rent it in Home Depot or maybe another uh, hardware store you guys used to go, but that's the way to go, all right? This is a tip for you, just keep it, to keep it clean the floor, you gotta clean it a lot of times using alcohol like my baby's gonna do right now. You know, doing this, we're gonna make sure to clean all the uh, impurities in the floor. Then uh, we're gonna remove everything, everything dirty, any kind of uh, gum or whatever is there, <laughs> gum in the, in the house floor. Well, okay, uh, but that's what we're gonna do. You can feel the smell of the alcohol, and uh, we're gonna add doing that uh, more, more, more properties to uh, bone.
Then one of the other things you gotta do, you gotta make sure the distance and how big is your uh, your planks. You gotta make sure you gotta even uh, ending. You gotta make sure you don't wanna get a small piece less than two inches. Otherwise, the product says it's gonna fail. That's what I hear. That's what I hear from the uh, manufacturer recommendations and from professional guys. Never get it less than two inches thick, all right?
doing the door jams, I'm gonna start cutting using the uh, um, this tool. This is the Dremel uh, Multi Max tool, and with this piece right here, this is especially to cut the uh, uh, door jams. You gotta lighten it up. The first thing you gotta do is, in my case, I'm using the underlayment and uh, uh, the uh, the uh, uh, vinyl flooring, and I gotta put it together right here in the corner. Then you gotta lighten it up. You can use also soap to do it, but the best thing if you want, if you can get this tool, is, 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 is very good. Now I'm gonna start cutting little by little, going all around, because unfortunately I messed it up one door because I try to go everything in one piece. You, should, you gotta go little by little in order to make it make it work. All right? Now I'm gonna start doing it right here. Now in this case, you guys see this, uh, this, uh, uh, this, uh, um, this one right here, this one I gotta watch out, I just gotta go through here, not the whole entire piece. Now I'm gonna start doing this. using a utility knife to cut right here because as you guys can see I gotta go all around here but I don't want to touch this area right here this is part of the door jam I try to make a cut right here in order to pop out this piece right here and, uh, I'm using a utility knife to try to go through and as you guys can hear it is working now you guys see it's popping out right now and a nice piece and a nice cut right here this little piece right here and you just make a cut over here with a utility knife and it's, it's working perfect let's try to make it a little bit nicer in here and real good you got that perfect cut leaving this area right here untouchable and uh, you put your vinyl right there right underneath uh, if, if you got a little gap like this one, just a small one, it's, it's gonna be enough for the floor, as you guys can see. But if you don't wanna see that little gap right there, you can use a sauna uh, wood filler, or you can use a sauna, um, sauna uh, silicone, white silicone. And we're gonna keep doing this. Hey guys, now I'm gonna show you how to do the door jams. Uh, honestly, I cannot credit this to myself. But I'm getting some practicing. I, I consider myself a good doing it right now. I want to thank some guys in, uh, on, the, on YouTube that show some videos how to do the door jams. Now I'm doing the closet of my daughter. Oh, my son, I'm sorry. I'm doing the. Uh, um, I'm going to cut right here the bottom of the door. Uh, this door jam uh, right here. And uh, I'm using this tool. Uh, it's different brands, but. Uh, I like this uh, Dreamer Multi tool because it got a different attachments. For example, this one is included in one package. I love that. The price is it's amazing. The tool is really good. And now, uh, first thing, I'm using a, a Echo Silence underlayment and also I'm using a, a 5 uh, millimeters um, uh, floor, by the floor. And I'm going to show you how to cut this. You're going to go all around this frame right here, around here and in the back to it then you just kick it out. It's enough biggest to do it. Now the reason why I'm doing it right now is I want to show you uh, how easy it is because I see guys using just a, a hand saw and it's kind of hard. You want to kill yourself doing it the whole day unless you want to do some exercise. 
but this one is faster, easy. Also, you know, some some guys use uh, 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 utility lights or work lights. Well, I prefer to use this guy. You guys will see why. Uh, if you guys know, let's take a look right here. And uh, you see, I can see the spot. It doesn't matter how dark is the room. The dark, the, the room can be completely dark. And I'm doing this. I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. You just line it up the blade on the floor before you wanna put. nice and everything just a little bit pain for the frame but that's the way you're gonna make it look like it's part of the uh, part of the uh, uh, of the building not the cuts in here and everything no it's gonna be everything real real nice all right guys this is one tip you can watch the video Cuts and the door jumps and everything using these kind of tools, 
uh, I don't see no one using the Dreamel Multi Max tool. This is an excellent tool. Also, you can cut the vinyls. Uh, I'm gonna show you right here. This is a piece I'm doing right now. You guys can see the cut. I'm using also something real useful with this light that I'm wearing in my head because you can focus, you can see exactly what you're looking at. And for example, right here, I use a pen to make the cut right here. Um, I miss this cut right here and I'm gonna do it with this little tool. I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. And I was so scared uh, the, about practicing and I find it out that it's amazing. Without this tool, I'm not gonna be able to make it. Uh, that's with the knife is terrible. It's, it's good, but it's gonna kill me. This cut is perfect. Now I'm gonna put it against the wall. Took me a few seconds. Really easy. And using my light right here, you guys can see if I turn on this light right here, you see it's completely uh, dark, but using my tool right here, you can see, I think probably gotta cut it a little bit more. Uh, yep, I gotta do a little bit, an extra cut right here, maybe like another half inch. Let me, let me see to show you guys. I'm doing this on purpose. That, that way you guys can see. <clears throat> Not a um, quarter inch or something. can see you know line it up you know the thing is with this line you can see the details you can go real closer you can see everything right there and using the uh your tools to secure this piece right here what is the uh not the hammer And voila. Cut it's perfect. <clears throat> I gotta finish a little bit more here, right here, giving another uh, like a quarter inch. But you guys got an idea how easy it is with this little, uh, with that Dremel. Or you can guys use another brand, but as soon as you, this one is a multi tool, you got a different attachments to make perfect cuts. All right, that's another hit. guys after a week and a couple of days I almost won. This is not an easy project, I'm gonna tell you that. If you think you're gonna do it in a couple of days, well you gotta watch a lot of videos in YouTube. Things that I was getting information from days and days, basically months, reviewing how to do the cards, what kind of materials I need, what kind of tools I need. If we don't have the right tools you're gonna get screwed up. I got a, a Sona uh, electric uh, machines. I got a, I bought a, 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 a battery uh, nail gun. Uh, also I get a um, electric saw, the one I showed you guys before. 
and you know different tools like this this drill right here I got a T I got a basically more than a hundred uh, blades for the knives probably you're gonna need more and you know stuff like that you need a lot of stuff basically you don't see sometimes in the videos you need pullers to be honest with you the best puller for me is this one I don't like those uh, uh, plastic pullers I don't like them to be honest with you I think the most safe way and let me show you right now uh, to move a piece is just grab one of the uh, left folders right here like this one and like uh, for example you wanna you wanna if I wanna move this piece right here the thing I do is just put it in place pull this metal puller right there and you can hit it from here or from there of course this piece is gonna mess up but after that you know it's gonna stay in place it's not gonna go nowhere you're gonna give a strong hit sometimes the uh, uh, <laughs> that rubber hammer whatever it's not gonna work fine I prefer the hammer the real hammer the real one because you're gonna be gentle also you cannot grow <laughs> it and try to knock it down you gotta be nice with it but if you wanna uh, a nice smooth and everything that piece and this puller and the hammer and uh, other than that patience basically when you got this area it's easy moving faster problem is when you got the corners when you got the ends of the wall when you got the closer when you got a curve that's where you guys gotta take your time you're gonna measure real good or otherwise you're gonna mess it up a lot of pieces and uh, like in my case it's not a, a cheap uh, stuff this is a commercial grade 20 mil. Uh, this is a 15 year warranty. And like I told you, I buy this for my house because I got my kids and, uh, and, and, and you know, I feel like I'm in a little kind of mall or something like that where everybody's running, but except for everybody, there's my kids running. And, and you know, I, 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 I want to have something real good for the family, something strong for, for, for the years to come. And you know, talking with my friend uh, and checking on the website and different places, and from my friend Aldo, uh, I get this vinyl. This is a quality, quality style. That's the brand, quality style. And uh, this is this this kind of floor is the true true grout. This is waterproof, 15 years commercial warranty and lifetime residential warranty that's the thing i'm looking for i could get something cheaper but i'm talking with friends and uh, uh, i know uh professional people that the uh, style their, their style of uh, uh work life is do this for a living and they are professional they recommend me to go to the 20 mil i'll try to get the 12 mil because it's cheaper but you know, when I ask my friend, he told me, no, let's go for the 20 mil. 20 mil is more professional. If you want to keep something for the years to come and keep your house beautiful and everything more strong and waterproof and everything, so well, get that one. I know 20 mil got some. If you live with your wife and or just by yourself, if you want to do something like that, 12 mil is good enough. But for example, in my case, uh, I got my kids, I got. Uh, a lot of people coming by to my house and visit and you know I need something like uh, I don't want to get water every time I got a party start looking the floor if it's any scratches you know and uh, that's the run my friend Aldo recommend to me and I check the reviews some reviews not too many reviews yet I hope after this video all people start taking a look and asking uh, your distributors about this brand because uh, so far it looks Good. I, I, I did some tests and I'm gonna show you right now before my daughter goes to get something to eat but this is a piece I don't need I just gonna show you a real a, a test just imagine if you drop your keys uh, sometimes if you you hang in your keys or you got a knife or something in the kitchen 
first thing the knife is falling down you want to scare that this is going to damage the bone right well this is a hammer the hammer falls down but i'm giving some movement i'm pushing it down look at this i don't know if you can get focus but the bone is new nothing happening it's amazing i like it and i'm gonna use this one you guys see and i'm telling you you guys can see this is this is this is a uh, this is sharpie and look at this and if you guys can see basically there is nothing there's a little, little curly thing right here, but if you do it like this, nothing happened to the floor. You're not even noticing. It. It's amazing. It's, it's, it's crazy. And uh, like I told you, of course, if you grab a knife and you cross it over, you're gonna damage it. But nobody's gonna do that, even in the best floor in the world. But this thing is, is good. Even you can do some cuts like that, and as soon as you don't you don't break it like that, it's not gonna happen. If it's on the floor, it's not gonna happen. Just imagine your knife all in the kitchen, something like that, it's falling down, and you're not even gonna notice it. You know, you can see a little scratches right here, but from the other uh, floors I tried from. Uh, uh, I get from uh, Kali Bamboo, I get from, um, um, uh, what is this brand? I forgot the name, Core. I forgot the name of this brand. I'm gonna find it out the name, I'm gonna let you know, guys. I just put Sona, uh, uh, Sona uh, samples, and I check it, and also I went to some places like a Home Depot, they are scratching a little part of some of the samples they have, and I didn't like it, and I was wondering what. What's going on is, you know, uh, I need something good, something commercial great. Like something like the hospital, you know, I like that floor, you know, you go, you go to the hospital, you see people coming by, coming back, and that floor looks beautiful, and the only thing they do is map it, and that's it. And, you know, this one, it's the same thing. If you guys see it like that, you don't notice anything. Now, if, like I told you, if you do it like that, cut like this, of course, you're going to see the cut. Because that's the way you want to damage but so far like I showed you guys with the hammer look at this you can be you can be 400 pounds fat and jumping this thing you're not gonna this is an excellent quality I like this I like this so far now I gotta wait for the one and tier with the years to come and uh, after a couple of years I'm gonna do another review to let you guys know how this works but so far, you know, the test I did to this, I like it. It's very good. And, you know, I'm, I'm thirsty right now. I got my lemonade with some uh, strawberries inside. I never tried before, my wife did it to me. And that's the other good thing about this. For example, if this thing falls down right here. Oops. Guess what? This is waterproof. You guys can see it right here. So we're 100% waterproof. And that's it, guys. Keep watching it. And see you guys in the other video.